Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, sir. Good evening, yes. everybody. Good evening, hello, teacher. how are you? Welcome. Glad to see you again. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, ladies. And gentlemen. And gentlemen, too, okay? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is right. For that reason, it's better to say, okay, good evening, everybody. I'm here, ready to yeah. start. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, and that way I, I don't have to, to use a different kind of swear. Any problem, we got it. <laughs> okay. How was your day, Galileo? Great. Okay. I worked, I was with, I was in meeting with my boss, checking stocks and checking projections too. But when, when I can uh, show all data, I, I am feeling satisfied. Satisfied. Satisfaction, say the sun, right? Have you heard the song that is called in that name? I'm sorry, sir. Have you heard that song that says satisfaction? How yeah. How you yeah. La, how you la canción? No, no, but I, no, I'm ah, sorry. Okay. okay. Question I, by Rolling Stone. <laughs> ah, Rolling Stone, satisfaction. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, it's called satisfaction. Okie dokie, uh, let me see, we got 11. Okay, am I ready? Let me make a switch. What's going on here? Let me see. Okay, I got it here. This is the assistant list. Okay, um, I'm still waiting. To get the, the attendant list. I remember that I told you that at the beginning, you had the, the chance, the opportunity to read your paragraph using the word that we studied yesterday. And if you are ready, just let me know and we can start listening. But let me first try to, I don't know what's happening. Another thing that I would like to see is the platform in order to be sure that all of you are working. And, but let me check out first the attendance and later on I'm going to take a look of it. Okay, Ana Beatriz, are you there, Ana Beatriz? Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Ana Lilian? Present teacher. Okay, I stand a Lillian. 
Bautista. Present teacher. Okay. Escobar. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Eh, Francis. Francis. No está Francis. Galileo is there. Francis. Francis. Okay, no, no, Francis. Jonathan? No. No está Jonathan. Rodrigo? Rodrigo is not here. Juan Carlos? Present teacher. Laura Carolina? No. Eh, María Concepción. Present teacher. Ahí está. Okay. María Elena. María Elena. No. Nunca falla. Mayra. Mayra. Miguel Ángel. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Misael, Misael, Misael. Me ha llegado Misael. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. What's your name? Zaira? Wendy? Present. Okay. Present teacher, ya he dicho. Jenny? Jenny Suleima? No está. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Vaya, ahí está. Y dice, no, no está. Sí está. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Ahí está. Brian Javier. Present teacher. También está. Brian Javier. Ok. Only is missing Jenny. Misael, eh, Miguel Ángel, Vera Liz, eh, ¿quién más? María Elena, Laura. Mi teacher. Es el teacher, Laura. Ah, ah, ah perdón, sorry. Ah, no. Laura. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Sorry. En María Elena de Guadalupe. María Elena. No. No está María Elena. O Mayra Veraliz. Me contestaron como tres al mismo tiempo y no sé. Rodrigo. Jonathan. Francis. Present teacher. Ahí está, Francis. Bueno, ya recuperamos dos, tres. Ok. Ya, yeah, only 15. Solo habemos 15, no sé por qué. 
maybe cause the traffic or something like that. I don't know. Okay, um, I know that um, sometime when we when we ask guy for the material that we have, but we need to see extra information. Uh, sometimes it's really difficult for some of you to understand exactly all the words. Um, and I would like to ask you if you feel that I'm speaking in a fast way, just let me know and I can slow down, okay? And suddenly maybe if you don't understand something, just um, you can raise your hand and ask because what we want is that you learn something new. And remember that this module is, is focused in marketing in different terms that maybe are new for most of you. And for that reason, maybe you can feel it like a little hard, you know? But I consider that we need to be passionate and we need to research in, in, in Google or in books and try to look for the words that you don't know. Um, and you can create your own vocabulary. And that way you are going to understand exactly what we are talking about. Because sometimes maybe it's not, it's not easy for you to understand in a 100%. Of course, that there are a lot of a lot of you that got uh, another experience and areas are related with the topic that we are talking. But we are doing this way, okay? And the other thing is that this is intermediate level. Uh, at least in a uh, basic level, I can uh, speak Spanish. But yeah, in a, in an intermediate level. I consider that um, what I can do is just to speak um, slowly and that way you are going to understand better, okay? Sí, okay. Okay, Perfect. sir. Okay. Perfect. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. I like to hear that. I like to hear that, okay? Sí, lo que estaba diciendo es que generalmente los módulos intermedios son más extensos. Siempre vamos basado en el material, pero eh, tenemos que ampliarnos en algunos temas que, por ejemplo, eh, en el día, por el, el que va, veremos el día de hoy, les pide a ustedes que investiguen en, en, en la web sobre esos términos, así como los que vimos al inicio. You know, but uh, sometimes it is really difficult for you to do it. And for, for that is that I, I, I got some information and I share it with you in order that you can have uh, some ideas about it. And also we share some examples with, uh, with your classmate that uh, they help you to understand about what we are talking about. A través de los ejemplos que sus compañeros van dando, eh, considero yo que les van ayudando a entender sobre cómo va el proceso de lo que estamos hablando, ¿sí? Ok. Let us start now. Uh, I remember what I, I told you uh, at the end of the class yesterday, uh, and I would like to see some volunteer who wants to read your paragraph. Ahora, la, algo muy importante que debe tener claro es lo siguiente, que se lo voy a decir así en español. El éxito lo debemos de buscar todos. Si yo quiero aprender a desarrollar mis habilidades, no necesito que me esté llamando el facilitador para que participe, sino que debe de nacer en mí, debe de haber una motivación intrínseca ¿Sí? Que me haga eh, participar. Porque si, si, si estoy ahí eh, como medio escondido, no, yo no quiero que me vean, no quiero participar. Entonces, es de reafirmar sus objetivos 
y, y ponerlo claro y decir, si sí, quiero, and I'm going to learn it, and for that reason I'm going to participate. No matter if I make mistake, but I'm going to do it. Remember, uh, somebody, I guess Galileo mentioned some, something, I don't know if uh, was yesterday or before yesterday, but when we talk about trying errors, en prueba error, prueba error, ahí vamos. Si la palabra no la dije bien y de repente me la corrigen, ah, entonces por los errores voy ahí aprendiendo y así vamos hacia adelante. That, that is the, the, the main purpose here. Y felicito a todos aquellos que están siempre al pie del cañón participando, eso es muy bueno. Eh, recuerden, todos tienen la misma oportunidad, ¿sí? Todos. Que usted no la tome, entonces su compañero la retoma por usted porque usted no quiere, ¿sí? Entonces eso es así. Pero eh, en mi caso, como les digo, ya aquí como que if you want to learn how to swim, you need to get into the water, right? Okay. And that was uh, a parenthesis about how you can improve. Okay. Okay, let us see a pair of paragraphs in order to start working in a new topic. Who wants to do it? Just write your hand and tell me that you want to do it. And we are going to listen. No matter if you don't have 10 lines, just read what you have. Don't worry about it. Ahorita estamos así como cuando en la escuela. Vaya, vengan los que me hicieron el deber para acá. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. But imagine if I start calling by name and I say, okay, uh, Yesenia said, you are the one that are going to read. And maybe she has some problem in, he, in, in her, her job or in her house or something like that, you know? For that reason, I, I choose this method in order that you can interrupt in a volunteer way, okay. Who wants to read it? Only one. In a volunteer way. Who say, I'm going to try. Let me try, teacher, I'm going to do it. Open I, select to, I select to Claudia, teacher. Ah, okay, you choose Claudia. Okay, let us, Claudia. Let, let us see if Claudia okay. wants to do it. It's up to you, Claudia. Okay. I have a paragraph. Okay. Uh, okay. One of the advantages of implementing a focus group is that we can have a variety of opinions. In addition, focus group is a testing product relatively inexpensive. Moreover, shows accurate and um, Basic opinions. I don't know. It's on basic. Uh, I don't remember how to pronounce that word. Okay, continue. Continue. Okay. Whereas one of the disadvantages is that in the group could be dominant personality and can influence the other people. In addition, focus group not consider that the participants are part of the target language. Moreover, it could be not enough stereotypes in the selected audience. Okay, what do you think, Galileo? Great. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good word. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to give you the opportunity to choose your victim. You are going to choose your victim. It's your turn, Claudia. Um, I choose Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. 
No problem, Laura. Are you ready to do it, Laura? Uh, teacher. Hello. I, I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> Question or topic uh, no. about. No, eh, lo que necesitamos saber es si tu espacio para poder hacer el, el párrafo incluyendo las palabritas que vimos el día de ayer. Lo tenía, creo que lo guardé, teacher. Ah, ok, <laughs> ok. Este, ok, no, no lo, problem. Eh, more, more. Le, le, later on, more, later on. Lay, uh, ok. Ok, ok, ok. Mm, somebody, let me see how we want to do it. Ok, Claudia, choose another one, please. Uh, I don't know, maybe Diego? Are you there, Diego? I'm so sorry, teacher. <laughs> I didn't do my homework. Oh, I didn't my, have time. My goodness. Okay. No sorry. Problem. Okay. Somebody wants to do it. Sorry, Claudia. Okay. Somebody wants to do it. No. Teacher, I don't have. I don't have. To. 10 lines but okay no no matter I, I i told you at the beginning no matter if you don't have 10 line maybe you have only a three or four but what i want to see is the uh, the effort yeah okay okay i i read it okay mayra no puede we, responder okay okay go ahead sir we can implement a focus group but it has some disadvantage. Moreover, we can mention some of them. For example, there are not enough stereotypes in the select audience. For, furthermore, we do not consider that the participants are part of the target language. Also, Maybe they do not know anything about this product. Okay. That's only. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the same, uh, the same ideas, and and it is related with the with the topic, right? It is nice. Okay. Thank you. Let me see somebody who wants to do it. Es que dijeron, se le, olvide, se le va a olvidar al teacher. No nos va a preguntar. Ok. Hello. The last one to start a new topic. Who wants to save the group? Me teacher. Ah, uh -huh, Okay. It says the focus group is a strategy that allows companies to find out certain details about the products. In addition, they can notice what they can improve. Besides, the focus group strategy can be implemented before or after the launch of the product, particularly for discovering new customers in the market. Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, I know that uh, the rest, they, they already have it too, but they don't want to read it. Okay, I got it. Pero no es que no lo hayan hecho, ellos sí lo tienen ahí. Lo que pasa es que ellos no quieren, pues, no se sienten así como confident to read it. That is the problem. Okay, don't worry about it. Today, we are going to talk about something that I'm going to show you in the material first, and later on, I'm going to 
show you uh, my slides that I got. Okay, today, according to the, my lesson plan, I'm, we are going to talk about building vocabulary. And what I told you at the beginning is, is that, for example, right here, say go online to find out more about key term related to product testing and write a sentence using each key term. That means that we need to have an idea of what uh, these words means. But sometimes, as I told you, for you, uh, it is difficult to get uh, some ideas about what we are going to talk about. For, for this time, for example, we have only got four words. And we are going to talk about these four words. And uh, later on, you are going to, as soon as we clarify all these terms, uh, you are going to work in group and you are going to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customer perception of the new product you designed in lesson one. If you remember, if you did, you have it there and you are going to use the same, okay? Pero si no lo hizo, ahí estamos en problemas. And then uh, you are going to take into account all this aspect that I'm going to read it later on. And at the end, you are going to share it. But first of all, we are going to talk about this uh, for aspect that we have here. And remember that, that we are going to do this in order to build in vocabulary. That means that we are going to learn uh, a new vocabulary, okay? Keep in mind, we are going to talk about targeted sample, random sample, competitive threats, and unbiased. Unbiased, okay? I don't know if you have uh, an idea about the, maybe the third one or the second one or the third one or the fourth one. Let us explore what you know about that. And later on, we are going to start sharing some information and you are going to have the opportunity to uh, give me examples and ask questions and so on. Okay, let us start now. Any idea about this four different aspects related with product testing? Hello? Hello? It's, uh, it's um, the, the... Picture is showing some something like a tool to evaluate a product, um, but for example, target sample uh, talk about a specific uh, product or people who know. One probe, random sample is uh, wherever, wherever people without knowledge in, uh, about one probe. Uh, competitive treat is like the treat this new probe have in front of the commercial natural probes in the supermarket for them. And by uh, the results of this analysis must be unbiased. I mean, um, sin tendencias. Ah, uh -huh. so, okay, okay. Okay, you already uh, gave us some ideas about general ideas or aspect about each um, phrase or term, okay? But in order that the whole class can understand 
what we are going to talk about. I need to show you some slices. Necesito mostrarle algunas diapositivas. Y les muestre primero el, el material en el libro para que después no vaya a haber confusión y va a decir, bueno, ¿y el, de dónde saca ese material? ¿Y con qué tiene relación? en so on. ¿Ok? Sí, porque de repente alguien podría pensar y decir eso. Pero permítame, Mayra, ver a Liz. Teacher, estoy en el trabajo, no puedo, ok. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let us see what's happening there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is class number 12. If you saw in the in, in the picture that I show you, uh, all the words and phrases have a, a word in common that is sampling. Yeah, target sample, a and so on. Okay, before that, we need to have a, a definition of what is sampling. Sampling is the process of selecting a representative group from the population under study. Okay, I need that you have clear uh, this concept in order to go to the next one because the main point here is that you learn something new. It is not just to go to the next slide and, and finish a certain time. No, no, it's not that, that the idea. Okay. I'm going to read again. Teacher, share the information. Ah, okay, the slides. Do you, do you share? Yes. The, the, las diapositivas. Yes. Okay, ahí le voy a enviar. A, Please. A, a, it's a bunch of information. Como decimos en buen salvadoreño, es que una tonelada de, de información. Mándelo, hay <ríe> memoria suficiente. <ríe> okay, okay, I'm going to read again. Sampling is the process of selecting a representative group from the population under study. Okay, do you have clear that concept? Yes, no? Question? Yes, teacher. What about uh, y los demás? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, now let us see the next one. The target population is the total group of individual from which the sample might be drawn, might be drawn, okay? A sample is the group of people who take part in the investigation. The people who take part are referred to as participants. And in this case, for example, uh, in the picture, you can see this is the population and this is the sample. Okay. Imagine that uh, we need to make a study of a new product and you say, okay, we are going to do it in downtown area of San Salvador with, um, let me see, with uh, 100 people there 
of course that in the downtown area of San Salvador, we are not going to have only just 100. We are going to have thousands of people maybe, right? But the, the sample is that. Is clear? Or not clear? <clears throat> no clear for me, teacher. Okay, no claro para usted. Uh -huh. Okay, population, la población. This one is, is la población. We need to do a research in the downtown area of San Salvador. Necesitamos hacer un estudio sobre un nuevo producto en el centro de San Salvador. ¿Sí? Eh, ¿cuántas, personas, yes. ¿Cuántas personas habrán? Eh, how many people do you think uh, we can find in the downtown area? ¿Cuántas personas cree que podemos encontrar en el centro de San Salvador a las 9 de la mañana de un día domingo o de un día sábado? Give me a number. A thousand. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Cuánto dijo, Wendy? For me, 20 thousand, teacher. Uf, uf, a lot of people. Ok. No, 20 thousand, the people uh, no, no work. <laughs> Yeah, for, uh, for that, for 20, that reason, for, for that 20, reason. Uh, 25 or whatever. Okay, <laughs> okay, never mind that the amount. Okay, and, and we need to make a, a research. And for all those people, we need to look up only up for 100 people. That is the sample. De todo ese montón de personas, de esos miles de personas, el nuevo producto que necesitamos evaluar solo requiere de que participen 100. Entonces, esos 100 se convierten en el sample, o sea, la muestra. ¿Ok? I, I don't understand the word might be drowned. Or... Ah, dibujar o no, 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 no. I don't understand. Ah, okay, but in that, in those cases, it's easier because uh, if 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 I forgot to tell you, since de repente a mí se me olvida, es más fácil porque uh, you can get the help of the dictionary. But in this case, for example, you need to make sense about the word and try to read all uh, the previous uh, line in order that you can understand it. Remember that you don't need to, um, could be in a certain point, but you don't need to know exactly the 100% of meaning of the words, but at least you need to make your concept, the main idea, okay, of, of the, of the word. Okay, but, but take a look. The target population is the total group of individual from which the sample might be drawn. De acuerdo a esta imagen, no, no nos vayamos a la palabra. De acuerdo a esta imagen, está hablando de tomar el ejemplo, eh, la muestra, perdón. Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo comprendería usted esa expresión? Might be drawn. ¿Qué se Como le viene? tomar una parte. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué se le viene? Might be drawn. Para mí mente. sería como que fue diseñada. ¿Sí? Pero de acuerdo al contexto... ¿Cómo que fue elegida? Microphone teacher.
I remember that I, I, I okay, I, I show you something. I said, when I read the part that which the sample might be drawn, what is that? Ah, entonces dice, podría ser extraída. Oh. <ríe> Recordemos, les he venido diciendo que eh, una palabra puede tener más de cinco significados y dependiendo del contexto donde la vamos a usar, así será su significado. ¿Sí? Porque, por ejemplo, lo que dijo el compañero eh, te, tiene mucha lógica, eso significa, ¿sí? Pero también eh, tiene otras eh, opciones, ¿sí? Como sacar, extraer, eh, obtener como resultado, derivar, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Okie dokie. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okie dokie, teacher. You. Okay, let's go ahead for the next one. Okay, then this picture you can see. I don't know if somebody wants to read it and later on can give me an explanation about it. Okay. How I'm going to explain you this? Easy, in an easy way. Okay, take a look at the picture first. Take a look at the picture first. The whole circle, it is the population. Okay. The next one that we have here, talking about this one, this one, we can, we can say that is the target population. Determined by sampling criteria. Yeah, we decide that this one is going to be our target population. The next one that is going to be this, in this case, we are going to uh, say it that uh, it is accessible population. That means uh, that we can have it available to, to do the research. And later on, we have the sample that is selected with the sampling method. And that is small dot that you see in the middle, we can say that is the subject or the research participant or informant. I don't know if it is clear or not, but just if you have question about this, I need that you ask me question because based on this picture, we are going to continue talking about this topic. The population is inside here. Okay, oops, sorry. And then we have the target population. That is determined by sampling criteria, you know? And then we, we have the accessible population that is gonna be available to do researchers, right? And then we are going to have the, the sample, uh, that means the selective with the sample method. There we are going to have clear how many people we are going to use it and also the area where we are going to do it. And at the end, we are going to have the subject or the research participant or informants. I don't know if you have uh, any questions so far from here. I would like to know why you can tell me or somebody can explain it in a different way. You can take uh, also the same example that I gave you, or maybe you can take another one. Imagine that this is the Cuscatlan Stadium right here, and there uh, we can find like uh, 35,000 people inside. That is called population. 
and you can continue explaining and giving an example in that way. But I need to know if you are getting my ideas. Necesito saber si realmente me están siguiendo con las ideas, pues. ¿Aló? Sí, teacher. Dos, me dijeron sí, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Hello, yes, can, you, can you explain about accessible population more about, please? Oh, okay. Uh, and maybe your question is because uh, you see that the population maybe could be huge, right? Porque la población se ve como, como enorme, ¿no? Pero ¿por qué a esa parte le llamamos que es la, la accesible para, para el, el, la investigación? It is because uh, not all the people are going to be available to, to make a research. If you, if you for example, if you ha, 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 see 10, 10 people and you ask, okay, I would like to ask you some question. Do you have time to answer this? Not all of them are going to say yes. That means uh, before that, you need to classify the people that you are going to use it. I don't know if you okay, teacher. If, if Very you can, clear. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it is because suddenly imagine that uh, I got a phone call this morning. Somebody, a lady called me. I'm calling you from, um, I guess, the Soro Beach or something like that in La Costa del Sol. And I would like to give you some information about this, 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 this. And I say, okay, I'm sorry, I can hear you because. I have a bad experience in that place, and for that reason, I don't want, I don't want to to answer any questions. So, uh, and, and yeah, and, and I stop in that way. That mean I'm I'm not. I didn't consider like uh, available to their research. You got it? Okay. See. Sí. Okay. Okay. ¿Alguien más que tenga una pregunta, por favor? I'm speaking Spanish. Que no me gusta porque después se me acostumbra. Y cuando me pregunta, ay, dice, pero mire, aquel día no explicó así, es que no debe de explicar. Na, 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 na. Pero es para que no se me, se me aflijan mucho porque... A veces, por ejemplo, ayer, no sé, pudo, pudo ser que alguien como vio demasiadas letras. Ay, no, esto está complicado. No, 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 no. Take your easy, relax, and try to read. And if you don't understand something, just look it up in your dictionaries. Of course, that you, you need to have time in order to do that. In my case, for example, sometime I go to my bed uh, after midnight, you know because I, I need to read a lot of information. I need to classify the information. And I need to know that if, if the source of information it is trusted or not, yeah, uh, all different aspects that, that we need to take into account in order to share some info with you. Okay, let us go ahead if you don't have uh, any questions so far, but, uh, pero esta es clave, esta imagen que tenemos aquí es clave para lo demás que vamos a hacer. Por eso uh, es que estoy hablándoles en español, aunque no debería, no me gusta. But if, you, if all of you said that it is clear, I can go to the next one. But just let me know. Hello. Clear teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher, go ahead. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let us see the purpose of sampling. I, I don't know, I, I would like that somebody will help me to read in. And I don't know if somebody wants to read it. Me teacher. Okay. 
And I miss a word right here. Uh, uh, I do really sorry. After children, we have adults. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The purpose of sampling in some times of research, the target population might be as broad as how humans, but in other types, in other types of research, the target population might be a smaller groups, such as teenagers, preschool children, every single person in a target population. So Continue. Or that's population. It. So in marketing, we select a sample or subgroups of the population that is likely to be representative of the target population we are interested interested in. The purpose of sampling in some type of research, the target population may be as broad as all human, but in other type of research, the target population might be a smaller group, such as the neighbor, preschool, children, adult, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Every single person in a target population. So in marketing, we select a sample or sub group of the population that is likely to be representative of the target population we are interested in. And this is really important and has to be with the question that uh, I guess Misael asked me. The population we are interested in. Take into account these words at the end. That is the main purpose. That we need to take a look at the, inter the, the people that is interested in. Okay, is that clear? That's clear, teacher. Okay, okay, I like that. But don't forget this uh, four last words that we have there. Okay, who wants to continue? Somebody else wants to read it and practice reading. Me teach. Okay. This is important because we want to generalize from the sample to the target population. The more representative the sample, the more confident the researcher can be that the result can be generalized to the target population. One okay. of the problems that can occur. Okay, go continue, continue. When selecting a sample from a target population is sampling via sample. Uh, what's the bias? Right bias. 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 Sampling bias refers to situations where the sample does not reflect the characteristic of the target pop population. Okie dokie. Okay, let us read again. This is important because we want to generalize from the sample to target population. That means we are going from, uh, from general to target population. I don't know if you understand that general, target population. Wendy, got it? Okay. General. This is important. Huh? No, no, no. The, 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 my gesture that we are talking about general. General. To, tar to target population. The what is the meaning? Um, microphone. Okay, I'm talking to no, the so teacher. <laughs> Hello? In que parte? In que parte? I'm talking about right here. We want to generalize from this sample to target population. 
That means that we are going from general to target population. The more representative the sample, the more confident the researchers can be that the result can be generalized to the target population. That means that we need to take into account that we need to be careful at the moment that we are going to select the sample. That is really important. Tenemos que saber seleccionar la muestra de donde necesitamos hacer el estudio. That is really important. But continue saying that one of the problems that can occur when selecting a sample from a target population is sampling bias. Entonces, uno de los problemas que puede ocurrir uh, cuando estamos seleccionando la muestra de una población ya identificada es a lo que le llamamos sampling bias. And what is that? ¿Qué es lo de bias? That word uh, have maybe a lot of meanings, but in this case, it could be something that is not truthful. The bias, you know? In all research, in all the investigation that you are going to do, you are going to find bias. En toda investigación, en todo estudio que nosotros vamos a hacer, vamos a encontrar lo que son las bias. Al final, ¿qué vendría a significar la palabra bias? Sesgo de muestreo, muestreo, muestras. Podría ser el sesgo. ¿Y qué es el sesgo? ¿Sí? Son prejuicios. Podrían ser prejuicios. Eh, que Sample las... bias es como una muestra parcial, ¿verdad? Um, fíjese que ni, ni tan parcial, porque al final lo que vamos buscando es que sea unbiased. Unbi ¿Sí? Que sea una muestra que no tenga ninguna, ningún prejuicio, que no esté... Como la al... edad o los... algo así. No, 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 no. Teacher, dice que también viene siendo como... Se podría ser el sesgo. Ok, permítame que no le están hablando dos. Hable, caballero. Dice que también vice puede ser como una tendencia. Sí. Podría ser como una tendencia, pero siga leyendo hacia abajo eh, los otros conceptos o sinónimos. Oh, teacher, sesgo es como algo que la población no estemos de acuerdo con ese producto. Mm. ¿Cómo le explico? Let me, let me find the right word. Teacher, y no es así como un sesgo de edad o un sesgo, no sé, como una categoría de, de algo así, como de un rango de algo. No. Ok, if you see here, antes de dar un concepto así más eh, como, como dentro del contexto, si vemos después del punto sampling by a refer, aquí nos dice, to situation, listen, to situation where the sample does not reflect the characteristic of the target population. ¿Qué nos está diciendo eso? Que no refleja las características de la población. Ah, vaya, entonces ahora basado en eso, haga su, su concepto de lo que es sample bias. ¿Sí? ¿Qué sería entonces? Teacher. You are in mood, teacher.
teacher. Hello. I think uh, that's mean uh, the company or marketing or whatever who are the sample uh, is throwing a product in an area where the people don't make much with the with the product. Mm. Okay, could be, could be. But we are going to see some example. But before go on, I need that you have clear about the word bias, the meaning of the word bias. And the concept that I have after the period, sampling by a repair to situation where the sample does not reflect the characteristic of the target population. Se refiere a situaciones donde la muestra no refleja las características de la población elegida. Entonces, eso al final, si se recuerdan en el material, the word bias has something at the beginning and say unbiased. ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿qué sería? Teacher, al buscarlo en español, dice que es el sesgo muestral, a veces también llamado efecto de selección, de, es una distorsión que se introduce debido a la forma en que se selecciona la muestra. Ajá, ok. Ok, ya apareció otra palabra más en el famoso español nuestro, que eso también eh, viene a ser como que haya una inclinación, ¿sí? Al final, the example, uh, for example, let me see. Teacher. Hello. But the sample bias uh, may be a uh, good or may be a bad reference, uh, depending on the situation. For example, the, the sampling uh, bias is partial uh, or find a focus in a special people is important. For example, uh, the Sodohan. Uh, okay, I got you. May be partial if for men or for women, for example. I got it, I got it. But in this case, in the material, let me show you the material. Pero en este caso, quiero aclarar algo para que no nos confundamos. En el material nuestro, la palabra bias tiene eh, un prefijo y dice unbiased. Entonces, ¿qué nos está diciendo? Si allá la palabra sola significa parcial, entonces acá nos está diciendo que sea algo imparcial. Ah, huh, ok. Les estoy haciendo este, eh, esta, eh, este símil así para que se vaya comprendiendo, porque el significado que les estoy mostrando eh, está solamente la palabra tal como es acá. ¿Sí? Ok, pero I, I, I consider that you already got my idea. Yo creo que ya me, me agarraron la idea, pero... Yes, permítan, permítanme que la asistencia es importante. Bueno, vamos a, a hablar un poquito más sobre los dos términos últimos y luego vamos a hacer el, eh, el trabajo en equipo porque me interesa mucho que se desarrolle. Well, let me check out the attendance, please. And I don't know why I'm, today I'm speaking Spanish to you. I don't know why. Asistencia, por favor. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Escobar. Present teacher. Claudia. Present. Francis. No está Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. No here, Jonathan. José Rodrigo. No. Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. Eh, María Elena. Present. Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. No está. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ahora sí puedo respondernos. Gracias. Miguel Ángel. No here. Ok. Zaira. Present teacher. Eh, Santos Misael Cañas. Misael, Misael, Misael. Present teacher. There is, there is, there. Ok. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Suleima. Sule. Está Suleima. Eh, Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. And, and Brian. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, before to continue, I would like to hear somebody wants to make a summary about what we have talked until now in a brief way, in your own words. And you can start in this way. Okay, Fisher, what I think, what I, what I consider that we have talked with this, I believe you can start in different yeah, ways. Yeah, I No, 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 I'm here. Oh, sorry, <laughs> teacher, sorry. No me dormido, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my darling. <laughs> Don't worry, that usually happens. Ah. Okay, I'm asking you to tell me about the main uh, idea that we have shared with the group. Hola, hola, hola. Only one. No more than one because I can hear clear on if you uh it is only one talk. Yes, of course I'm going to understand it. Ah okay, teacher. Um after the activity that uh, some class may read you start talking about uh, different kinds of samples in order to evaluate a product. And I remember that you start talking about the concept of sampling. And what I have learned is the sample, and, and you start doing that way. Come on, guys, I know you, that you can do it. Teacher. Hello, sir. With your class, I just remember marketing in the <laughs> university. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When we saw for the uh, marketing nicho, nicho de mercado. Okay. And different topics. 
I um, think your class is the same. It's really inter interesting <clears throat> Be because we learn to discover a new product. Okay. But before that discovery are a lot of variables, variables. Okay. Okay. And a lot of terms that we need to know in the, uh, in a previous step in order to start uh, doing, uh, to evaluate a, a, a new product, right? That That is the main purpose. Yes. Variables okay. like, like uh, customer preference. And that, like... is, that, that we call bias. <laughs> that is a technical <laughs> word. Yeah. Yeah, different That's bias, right. different bias, okay. Okay, let us continue then, and later on you are going to start working together. Pero si quiero que por favor me vayan participando y que me digan, mire, esta parte no la comprendo, esta sí. Okay. Okay, let us talk now about random sample. What is random sample? Who wants to read it? Me teacher. Okay. Random sampling. Random sampling is a type of probability sampling where everyone in the entire target population has an equal chance of being selected. Ah, okay. Necesito que repita esta palabra, probability. 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 You can, you can say in both ways, probability or probability. Probability. Okay, the concept is really clear. Random sampling is a type of probability sampling where everyone in the entire target population has an equal chance of being selected. Okay. Right here, I would like to hear uh, an example. Aquí me gustaría oír ejemplos de este random sample. Sure. Hello, sir. For example, in the supermarket, okay. sometimes uh, the display uh, give sample, for example, uh, jam or cheese or milk. Okay. In this case, uh, the target population Our client. Will, be, will be any people. A okay. guy, a women, a boys, a old men, etc. Uh, maybe a sample for random sampling. Ah, okay. Excellent. Somebody else? Somebody else? Somebody else? No? Okay, let us continue then. No question, right? Okay, no question, this, is, this is similar to the national lottery. If the population is everyone who has bought a lottery tickets, then each person has an equal chance of winning the lottery, assuming they all have one ticket each. Okay, explain me that concept. And I need to understand it. This is similar to the national lottery if the population is everyone who has bought a lottery ticket. That is the population. La población es todos aquellos que compraron un ticket ¿sí? de lotería. Esa es la población. Then each person has an equal chance of winning the lottery. Entonces, cada una de esas personas tiene la misma oportunidad de ganar la lotería. Assuming they all have one ticket each. Asumiendo que cada uno de ellos tiene un ticket. But maybe somebody bought more than one. That is another issue. Okay, random sample require a way of naming or numbering 
the target population and then using some type or raffle method to choose those to make a sample. Random sample are the best method of selecting your sample from the population of interest. Okay, and I'm going to underline this where some type of raffle method. Some type of raffle method. What is that? To choose those to make a sample. What is that? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Random sample require way of naming or numbering the target population. Requieren una forma de nombrar o numerar a la población elegida and then using some type of referral method to choose those to make up the samples. What is that? What is that? What is what is the meaning of this word? Rifa. Ah, oh. okay. Some type of raffle method to choose those to make up the samples. I would like to hear an example. Give me an example, please. Only one, only one, no more than one. Teacher, in this case, uh, maybe when uh, people raise uh, one a sickle, for example, uh, in the commercial, when I bought uh, any product, they give a ticket for the raffle. Uh, in this case, all the participants uh, may be the opportunation, opportunity. Uh, to, to win. Win the, the, the hour. Uh-huh, okay. Okay. I don't know if you remember uh, when you were in school, teacher uh, used to make a raffle. You know? in order that um, you can e explain a topic, right? Do you remember that or not? ¿Se recuerdan cuando estaban en la escuela o en la universidad? El docente o el profesor solía hacer alguna rifa, ponía unos papelitos y le decía, ok, tome, tome el papelito. Do you remember that? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, and at the moment that you open it, suddenly, some of them, uh, uh, it doesn't have any word on it. But maybe only a few have a win or love. Do you remember that? Yes, teacher. ¿Te recuerdan que algunos papelitos estaban en blanco y otros decía Eh, ganaste, buena suerte. And then, okay, something like that happened with the, with the random samples. It is the same way. De la misma forma. In order to select your sample. Okay, let us talk about the, this. This is the third one, I guess. Oop, I forgot to erase. I forgot to erase this. I got it. 
Ok, this is the third one. Esta es la tercera. A competitive threat is competition that hasn't occurred, but has potential to occur. In, another, in other words, it is a risk of competition. Take a look. Take a look at this. Uh, as with any risk, a competitive threat has the probability and impact, an impact and may be threatened. The following are the various types of competitive threat. But before we go to see the different time that we have, I would like to hear you if you got what is the meaning of this. Just tell me. Antes de pasar a, la, a, a ver los tipos, me gustaría tener claro el concepto. Sí. Do you remember? Do you remember this? We have it here. Let me show you where, it, where we have it. I got it here. Se los muestro donde lo tenemos porque puede ser que alguien ya se le ha olvidado. We have it here. And the last one that we're going to talk is going to be about this. And then uh, you are going to work in something else, okay? But we need to, to go in a hurry because we need to understand exactly what we are talking about. Okay, I want to hear you. It's a competition that hasn't occurred, but has potential to occur. Take a look at that. Imagine that you are going to create a new product. You already have the prototype, but at the same time, you need to think about competitive threats because you are going to launch your product uh, to the markets, right? And suddenly there is going to, 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 uh, to occur a competition, maybe between your product and something else that is like the same, right? For that reason said that a competitive threat is a competition that hasn't occurred, but has potential to occur. In other words, it is a risk of competition. Es un riesgo. As with any risk, a competitive threat has a probability and impact and may be threatened. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. The rest? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, okay. teacher. Sí, porque necesito explicarlo rapidito porque necesitamos tener tiempo para que puedan hacer la última actividad. Okay, I'm going just to mention the competitive, competitive trip that we can have in new competition, pricing, intellectual property, a new product, customer experience, new business model, promotion, substitute, uh, and talent also. Okay, let us see a brief concept of each one. And if you have a question, just let me know because we need to press the accelerator in order that you can have enough time to do what I, what I need that you do. When we talk about new competition, we are talking about the potential for new firm to compete for your customer. This includes a startup and established firm that may expand into your markets. We never know. Suddenly you create a product, but somebody else is creating something else that is going to be similar, or maybe could be better. Uh, we don't we never know what can happen, right? Okay, I'm going to for the next one. New products. Improvement to the products and services of competitors. For example, a high-speed train company 
that launch launches a safer, faster, easier to operate and more efficient model may suddenly gain significant market shares. That is what we are talking about. We, we, we have an example here, a very clear. Okay, can I move to the next one? Not yet? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher, please. Okay, 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 okay. What about new business model? Somebody wants to read it because I, I don't want only us to uh, the one that is speaking here. I need that you practice reading too. No, anybody? Uh, me. Okay. New business models a new way of capturing value that competes with your business model. For example, streaming media services that can be accessed over an internet connection as to being tied to the content available from your local telephone company. Okay, you got an example of a new business model. It is a new way of capturing value that competes with your business model. For example, you already uh, see in the market that we have different streaming media services. Yeah? Que todos son buenos, pero ninguno funciona. <laughs> yeah, imagine suddenly uh, we have, in my case, uh, I got two different services in order to keep uh, connected. But when the power uh, is off, I can do anything, you know? Or suddenly at the moment that uh, we are in winter and it started to rain. Yeah. Uh, no one was then working the right way. But maybe uh, in the future is going to appear a new one that is going to be better. In fact, uh, they are talking already about the uh, 5G service and they are putting uh, new antennas in different places. But let us continue because the, the, the time is, is killing us. Okay. Substitute the ability to com uh, of competition in different markets to attract your customer. For example, restaurant may take business from supermarket if they can convince customer to eat out every night. I don't know if you understand the example that is there. Yes? Okay, okay, let us move on because we need to have time. Okay, pricing. Somebody wants to read? Hey, teacher. Okay, sir. Pricing. The potential for a price war. For example, uh, an airline that is charging one thousand for a dollars for a flight suddenly drops the price to four hundred dollars. Parking reduces prices prices from competitors. Until the road is in profitable for everyone. Yeah, you see, you see the example, and that is happening now. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. With cool. with Volaris, for example. Well, <laughs> yes, of course it is. But sometimes, uh, um, it's big me. I'm sorry. Okay. I travel ticket. Send travel tickets, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, Wendy. Wendy. It's a it's a ticket, air, air take air ticket travel sales travel ticket yes ah okay she worked in that that area in that yes. area okay okay that means that later on she's going to give us the time that uh, when tickets are cheaper right at night yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, 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 um, I used to travel uh, 
at the end of the year. And, and sometimes when I see something like the example that we have here, uh, I need to be sure about why somebody is offering me a, a cheaper price about a ticket. Because sometimes, for example, in a Spirit, I guess is the name, they give you a ticket in a cheap way, but you don't have the opportunity to have your luggage with you. You need to pay extra money. And at the end, yes. if you compare, I prefer to pay to, to um, Taka, for example. Yes. Yeah. But it is because I got the experience. I had traveled during more than 10 years and sometimes twice a year. But somebody, uh, imagine that somebody is the first time and see and say, wow, I'm going to buy in this way. And uh, uh, later on, he's going to have some troubles about that. Okay, but let, let's go on. Okay, customer experience, who wants to read it? Me teacher. Okay. Customer experience, improve. Improvement to customer experience. Sorry. For example, the four major airlines airlines in a nation all have reasonable reason. I sorry. Reasonably. Help me. What? Reasonably. Reasonably. Reasonably low. low customer satisfaction. One gets a new CEO and suddenly their customer satisfaction is provide, pro, help me, improving. Improving. In, in, improving every quarter. Improving every quarter. The other three airlines start having to discount more tickets to sell seats as customer, begin to prefer the better customer experience of the improving airline. Okay. What do you understand about that? It's my ear, my ear, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay, for that reason, I'm asking you just questions. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. Uh, it's reasonable in customer satisfaction. And, um, it has to be what, for what example, I said. What, what I told you, sorry, it has to be with what, what I told you uh, two minutes ago, talking about customer experience. Experience. Yes. Yes. And for with... example, um, pay more, uh, send seats as customers, or send bags, or other things. And, the experience is bad for yes, the customer. Sure. Uh, Everything has to be with customer satisfaction right here in this point. Yeah. Okay. And other price major and the customer is satisfied. Satisfied. Is satisfied. Customer satisfaction. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, thank you. Let me go to the next one closer to the time. Okay, uh, I'm going to read this uh, promotion. There are two, imagine, okay. There are two nightclubs in a college town with both spending 400 a week dollar on promotion. Suddenly one is spending $4,000 a week on promotion to become the more popular spot. This result in an escalating competitive battle that damage boss business. Why?
because one is spending a lot of money. Yeah. And the other one is just spending $400. That means that at the end, one is having more promotion and maybe is getting more client, but at the same time is spending. In addition to that, is spending a lot of money for the reason sometimes it really that we need to be careful about it, okay? But what about talent, the potential for the competition to recruit your most valuable employees? You need to see the talent, okay? And uh, what about intellectual property? What is that? It is the potential for the competition to develop a superior intellectual property, such as trade secret and patent that allow them to outperform you. And sometimes we need to be careful about this. When we are going to create a prototype, we need to respect, okay? And we need to register and put it all right reserve. Okay, dokey. Let me see right here. No research can escape bias. Okay, right here we are going to talk about unbiased. And we are going to start saying that no research can escape bias. Es lo que les estaba diciendo al inicio. No hay investigación que se escape de los sesgos. Sí o de las inclinaciones a ciertas cosas. Never has, never will. Assuming that everyone else sees the world the same as we do, is only human. That is what leads to market research bias. However, don't start second guessing every study and sorry, you did right away. We also have ways to avoid market research bias almost completely. In other words, every time that we are going to make a study or something, we are going to find with bias. And we need to be careful about that. Let us see some type of market research bias and how we are going to avoid it. Let us explore the type of research bias that are most commonly while conducting market research so that you will know how to combat them. This bias can be grouped in two categories, respondent bias and research bias. What is that? What is respondent bias? And what is researcher bias? We have two different categories. Tell me what is the, the difference between the first one and the second one. Tenemos dos categorías. ¿Cuáles son los eh, que son responding? Son los encuestados. Y que son los researches. Encuestadores. Son los investigadores, ok. Grábelo, por favor, grábelo ahí en su mente, por favor, por favor. Ok. To elaborate, when it's come to market research, there are two human elements participating in it. The researcher and the respondent, okay, both come with individual package of the bias and presumption which will reflect in what they do. Ambos van a ir con sus paquetes de sesgos. Mire presumiendo que, que, que cosas se van a reflejar en lo que ellos hacen. And we have five different, we have social, Desirability bias, a visual bias, a sponsor, confirmation, and close it off. Let us see just some of them because we don't have enough time to see it. the rest. The social desirable 
visibility bias and this bias the respondent give incorrect information listen in order to be accepted or light so they answer the question to place and show themselves in the best possible light thus skewing your market research conclusion for example if there are questions about drinking and driving few would admit to doing it since it is a condemned activity the respondent might lie to avoid criticism or judgments you know se comprende esa parte sí con el ejemplo yes yes okay how to avoid it como lo vamos a evitar frame your question to allow answer that may not be socialized desirable okay you can also ask indirect question for example asking about how a third person or imaginary person will think feel or act in a socially sensitive situation this allows the respondent to portray their own feeling and provide honest answer okay what about visual bias questions that are words worded in a similar fashion may get the same answer when respondents see repetitive question they go on autopilot mode and stop being responsive then they start giving similar responses to different questions asked in a similar way for example if you are having multiple questions that require the respondent to rate the quality or the service or product the respondent may automatically mark slightly agree or slightly disagree without properly reading the question and we need to take care about this okay maybe i'm going to stop here i got more info to share it but i consider that you already got your ideas about this okay let me see here uh, now based on all those information i need that we work on the following situation okay we are going to work in groups and you are going to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers perception of the new product you designed in lesson one i don't know if you remember you need to specify the step the type of sample suitable for the product the number of focus group that you are going to use it the number of participants per group the location the type of test that you are going to use the number of items in the questionnaire that you are going to have how many questions are you going to ask in order to to be sure that they know your product okay les oigo me comprenden las instrucciones aló Oh, look. I'm not in mute, right? I guess not. Sure. Okay. Okay, lo primero que vamos a hacer es organizarnos en equipos de trabajo, ¿sí? Como tengo 18 personas, veamos a cómo nos correspondería para que nos salga más fácil. Okay, we can do it in trios, I guess. I don't know, what do you think? Hello? What about in four? It's, it's gonna be, uh, it's not enough. I guess in trios it's gonna be, Okay, later on, you are going to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customer perception of the new product of you design in lesson one. Lo siguiente será como organizar un plancito, sí, 
eh, que vaya eh, dirigido a, a un grupo específico para medir la, la percepción sobre el nuevo producto que se diseñó en la lección 1, donde se van a especificar los siguientes pasos, el tipo de muestreo que vamos a usar, sí, the number of focus group, el número de, 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 de grupos focales, el número de participantes por grupo que vamos a usar, eh, el lugar, el tipo de test que vamos a hacer, that we already talked about tests, and the number of items in the questionnaire, y el número de preguntas que vamos a ponerle a nuestro producto. No sé si ahora me comprenden. Aló. Yes, yes, teacher. Ah, sí, en español. Sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> ok. How am I going to create the groups? Well, it's kind of difficult because I need to, I can, I need to do it randomly. But you are going to be in trios. Vamos a hacerlo uh, porque si no nos vamos a llevar mucho tiempo para estarlo haciendo así eh, manualmente, ¿no? Entonces, we are going to assign it automatically. You are going to be in trios. Van a estar en trios, pero les voy a pedir de favor So please try to divide the, the activities that you are going to do. Traten de dividir las actividades para que le rinda. Porque si no, uno está diciendo todo y los demás no hacen mucho. Entonces, primero lo que deben de ponerse claro es el producto. What kind of product are you going to batch? Yes. And then the focus group. And another could be last creating the, the questionnaire. And then you are going to present, okay? That clear? No, yes, no, 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 no. Después yes, me van a decir, no, que queremos más tiempo. Y que fíjese que más tiempo. Okay. I'm going to give you five minutes first. Primero le voy a dar cinco porque no les puedo dar diez de una vez para ver cómo avanzamos en esto, sí. Ok, but let us start working on it. Si no tienen definido el producto, no podemos avanzar. But I need that you remember the product, ok? Here we go. Carlos, Alberto, ¿qué le pasa? ¿No se unió? Bautista, Bautista, are you there?
right now they are working in a in a parade. They are working in trees. They are going to present the work later on. Okay, this is the third round. Okay, tell me, how is everything? Are you doing well or not? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, Teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, not enough time. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to give you uh, three minutes more. I can give you five. But okay, as soon as you finish, I need that at least three teens share what you have, okay? So, okay, teacher. Let me see if it is right. Okay, here we go again. Teacher, teacher, yo, Mayra. Dígame. Mire, ¿será que no nos puede dar permisito como de compartir en los grupos? Compartir pantalla. Yes, of course, I'm going to give you. Por favor. Okay, okay, don't worry. As soon as we finish the time, I'm going to give you the, the chance to do it. Ah, okay. Or do you want to do it now? Okay. Okay, now you can do it. Ahorita ya lo pueden hacer.
We couldn't finish. Oh my goodness. Cost of the time? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't don't worry about we, it. We are, by, we, are making, we are making a work uh, that uh five months approximately in the university. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, maybe uh some of you finish and wants to share your ideas before we finish this section and later on the rest can do it tomorrow at the beginning. Ana Beatriz, maybe yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead, uh, Galileo. Hello. Hello, may you share? Teacher, hay un, hay un you... mensaje para ahí en el grupo. Creo que es de Juan Carlos Rivas, que dice que lo sacó y no puede entrar. Ah. Ah, talking about the WhatsApp group. Ana. Please share the your, your screen or your work to see the show to teacher. Please. PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Okay. Yeah. Please share. Can you see. Is that real, Galileo? Yeah. Uh, but uh, can we start with the first slide or here? Perdón. Okay. Perdón. Any problem? Está perdonada. <laughs> Por su culpa. <laughs> okay. What's going on there? No sé qué le está pasando. No me está queriendo sacar. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Go to the first. Please. Okay. New products creation. Okay. Retake the new products. Okay. This, uh, retake the new products idea your group presented in unit one. Ladies back. It's good to testing strategies to fit the characteristic of the probes market segmentation. Number one, when proceeding with market segmentation, it will be essential that you ask and answer the following question. Who use more handbags, young women or adults? Adults. Adult, adults. Adult, what will be your age range? What is the average amount of money they can spend on handbags? Where are they located? What do you want to express by using a handbag as a compliment? Mary, this who's or Okay. No sé qué está fallando, Mela. Ahí está. Ahí, ahí está. Number two, business plan of a portfolio company. Price related to your target audience. Audience. Quality. This will be subjective. Kind of style to define your brand. Innovation exclusiveness. 
consumers use or cite and handle one product. Then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. S, specific. B, precise. M, miserable. KPIs must be defined to determine to determine if they have been achieved. A, achieve, achievable. Specif specify whether the plan is reasonable or realistic. R, relevant. The interest of your business for the ratio of clients. T, on time. The date by which the plan must be achieved. English. Yeah. Okay. I need to tell and, you this. And, this and, job. And, and, okay, before you tell so, me something, the last slide is talking about a smart objective, right? Okay, go ahead. Tell me, sir. I'm sorry. That is it's all I, I need to tell you that Joe was was due for Anna Beatriz. They work in this before this class. Oh, after okay. this class. After the Okay. Anna Beatriz. Okay, thank you. Okay, the rest are going to have the, the opportunity to do it tomorrow at the beginning of the class because of the time. I know that I don't want to that, that you spend more than two hours here because I need uh, you need to do something else. But uh, I would like to that you compromise to, to do it tomorrow because in that way you are going to practice. And of course, I know that not all uh, had the same abilities in order to create a, a presentation, but you need to try to do it in that way. You are going to develop not also speaking English, but also creating slices and how to show the information to the rest of your teams. That is really important for us. We are so close to finish right now. I do really appreciate your attention and your participation today. It Thank made, you too. It made sense to the class in order that the rest of uh, classmate can get uh, the information. But I would like to see one day that all of you can do it in that way because that is the main purpose, that all of you can do it. But I'm, I'm praying to God that one day you can do it, right? Okay. And I know that he's going to hear my praise. Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Bautista. Present teacher. Okay, Bautista. Escobar. Escobar. Present, Escobar. Eh... Claudia? Present. Francis? Se me dormió. Galileo is there. Present. Eh, okay, Jonathan is not here. Rodrigo is not here. Juan Carlos Rivas? Lo sacó. Ah, él lo sacó, teacher. Sí, Carolina sí. Vigil. Present, teacher. Ok, Laura. Eh, María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. María Elena por ahí está. Mayra. Present teacher. Ok, Miguel Ángel. Eh, Zaira. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Misael. Present teacher. Andy. Present teacher. Jenny. It's not here. Eh, Yesenia Lisette. 
Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. And let me see. Okay. This can be number 12. Okay. The person assigned for today is, uh, is not connected. Okay. I don't know if somebody else wants to stay at the end of the class with me. It's up to you. If not, well, thank you very much. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a Good wonderful night. A wonderful night and dreams. And I hope that you can rest enough in order that tomorrow you can wake up early and get ready to go to your job again and do everything fine as you know how to do it, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night. 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 La, la otra muchacha se, ya, ya no está en... Le tocaba a la Verónica, creo. No, a, a Lorena. Mm -hmm. Pero como ya Lorena ya está, ya excedió el número de, 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 de asistencia, entonces ya no tiene oportunidad quizás porque ya está cruzada. Ahí. Así es. es, es de ir jugando con... Uh, con las asistencias. ¿Sí? Ok. Elisa, yes. Elizabeth Martínez, are you there, Elizabeth? Creo que se durmió. Creo que se durmió. Ok, let, let me see what we're going to do here. No, no me funciona. It's not working. I don't know what is happening here. Quizás hasta que finalice la clase. Okay, I got it. I'm going to remove. Okay, así para que no esté. Si está dormida, <laughs> no hay problema. Okay. Um, Welcome. I would like to know if you have any questions so far from here. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't know how to say in English, just tell me in Spanish and I'm going to help you to say it in English. But the most important thing that you need to do in this 10 minutes is just to ask questions. If you don't understand something, yes, I'm going to help you do it. Si no entiende algo, con gusto le voy a ayudar. Uh, if you can. Okay, tell me. <laughs> okay. Realmente eh, he estado como perdida porque como he estado de, de super tarde y el no, no, transporte es imposible poner atención bien en las clases. Sí. Entonces yo me siento como perdida con el sistema que ahorita está dando usted. Por ejemplo, ah. ahorita en, en, en lo que nos ha dejado ahí en el grupo, eh, me, me estaba comentando Escobar que tampoco entiende nada pero el detalle es que si él no entiende, yo no entiendo. Y yo le dije que, o sea, yo lo que hice fue tomar el scrimch a todos los, las diapositivas que usted estuvo pasando y me voy a basar en ellas para hacer lo, el, lo que usted nos ha dejado, porque él me decía que él tampoco estaba entendiendo. Pero yo por eso cuando usted pregunta, mejor digo, no contesto porque todos dicen sí. Pero, pero es que hay un detalle. Y el detalle es... Yo sé de que, de que dos o tres dicen sí, pero el resto se calla. Pero yo por eso los invito una y otra vez y les digo, si no comprenden algo, por favor, levanten su manito. Y podemos preguntar. Eh, yo he tratado de ir como más lento. Eh, y en la sesión de hoy, por ejemplo, eh, hay algunas cosas eh, en, en español. Pero... Uh -huh. Entonces, esos conceptos que aparecen en el material, lo único que yo hice fue como ampliarlos para que ustedes tengan más información y eh, puedan relacionar 
lo que estamos viendo. En este caso, en la unidad 1, hablamos de crear un producto. ¿sí? Ya hoy en este, las instrucciones eran que íbamos a tomar ese producto y en base a ese íbamos a hacer como un estudio de viabilidad para poder lanzarlo al mercado, tomando en cuenta algunas cosas que, eh, donde nosotros podemos hacer el estudio, o sea, los grupos focales. ¿Qué grupo de personas voy a ir a hacerle las encuestas para saber si va a tener aceptación mi producto o no lo va a tener? Y en base a eso incluso se menciona en la instrucción que había que crear como unas preguntas para que eso me va a dar la respuesta de lo que estoy esperando. ¿Sí? A eso es que se refería. Ok, él dice que anteriormente habían tomado como... Creo que se está viendo problemas de internet ahora. Hola. Este, sí me entiende. O, o, yo creo que estaba teniendo como un problema de internet. Sí, se le oye. Ah, va, ok. Entonces, él me estaba diciendo así como él anteriormente hizo sobre. No, 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 no. Este, pero me dijo que. Ah, sobre Chodi, supuestamente había hecho él lo, lo que habían hecho al principio. Pero me okay. dijo que ya no se recordaba. Entonces, esto, elegimos hacerlo sobre el champú. Pero okay. me dijo él, o sea, no, te, no me podía aportar mucho porque él no se recordaba mucho. Ajá, ok, ok. Ahí ha tocado algo muy importante. Es necesario que nosotros tengamos un cuadernito para ir anotando todas las ideas de lo que vamos hablando. Y cuando nos digan, eh, vamos a necesitar tal información, solo voy y la busco y rapidito comenzamos a hacer lo que, lo que necesitamos. Dicho, Ahora, yo mi, mi cuaderno lo tengo súper lleno de todas las letras. <risa> <risa> ok, y en, su, en su caso, el producto que hizo al inicio, ¿se recuerda no? Es que lo que pasa es que yo estaba como oyente cuando hizo lo del producto, pero no sé si es el que hicimos en anterior cuando llevaba las probabilidades, las estrategias y todo eso. Ok. Que hicimos sobre una moto. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, eso sí lo tengo anotado aquí, que hablaba de las fortalezas, de las cualidades competitivas, de los precios competitivos y todo eso. Cuando we talk about the soft analysis. Yes, and uh, the opportunities. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Entonces, okay. eso mismo es lo que iba a tomar para hacer la, la, la otra parte. O sea, ya con ese producto que usted tenía elegido, lo que iba a hacer era como eh, diseñar plancito y eh, sacar qué tipo de, de muestra es la que usted necesita, el número de grupos focales, eh, el número de participantes, en qué lugar, qué tipo de preguntas le va a hacer. Eh, eso sería más que todo basado en eso, en esa información que ya usted tenía ahí o tiene. Sí, eso, eso es lo que yo tengo, porque yo le decía a él lo de la moto, pero él me decía, ¿y, y cómo lo hizo? Pues? ¿Sí? Entonces, eso, esa es la parte que yo tengo, las oportunidades, la fortaleza y todo eso, es eh, lo que yo le comentaba a él, ¿tomamos esa parte o lo cambiamos? Porque si usted no se recuerda, vamos a estar haciendo algo que usted no se recuerda y no sabe tampoco. <risa> sí, es que precisamente, mire, cuando uno trabaja en equipo, eh, lo primero que debe de hacer es ponerse de acuerdo con el equipo. Y si de los tres, uno se recuerda de un producto y si es viable, entonces se hace en base a ese producto. ¿Sí? Y comenzamos a generar las ideas. Ah, ok, el producto es un champú. Ah, ok. ¿Cuántos grupos focales vamos a tomar? Eh, dos. 
¿Qué especificaciones van a tener? Van a ser mujeres entre las edades de 35 a 50 años. Ah, ok. ¿Sí? ¿En qué lugar lo vamos a hacer? Eh, that is that, that the main uh, ideas. Esas son las ideas principales. And uh, how many questions I'm going to put in the questionnaire. ¿Cuántas preguntas le voy a poner al cuestionario eh, que voy a realizar? ¿Sí? Una de esas podría ser eh, al momento de comprar un shampoo. ¿Qué características son las que debe tomar, de tener ese producto? ¿Por qué? Porque usted necesita saber qué es lo que la gente quiere. ¿Comprende? Sí, sí. And even uh, you need to know uh, something about pricing. Tiene que saber incluso la gente en qué precio juega. ¿Sí? ¿Comprende? Sí, sí. Ok, entonces eso es precisamente lo que necesitamos hacer. Ok, entonces, pero como yo ya tengo casi todas las estructuras sobre las motos, lo voy a escribir a él y le voy a decir que si nos quedamos con las motos porque ya nos sale como un poco más fácil porque ya está estructurada esa parte. It's, it's up to you. It's up to y you. la otra es hacer el nuevo como del champú, pero él siempre me dice, o sea, no le voy a aportar mucho porque no sé, entonces. No, no, no. Es que por eso le digo, estábamos hablando de que tenía que ser relacionado a un producto que habíamos hecho previamente. ¿Ya? Okay. ¿Por qué? Para en order to have the information and use that information just in this step y usar esa información ya en este paso. Porque si nos ponemos a, a, a crear otro producto y hacer, nos lleva mucho tiempo. Sí, tiene razón. Sí. Ok. Mm -hmm. Bueno, ahí están okay. sus dudas. Bueno, ahí okay. vamos a trabajar toda, más tarde. <risa> ah, ok. Ok. Sí, lo voy a hacer ahorita porque yo en el trabajo no tengo tiempo para hacerlo. Ah, oh, really? Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, but uh, maybe uh, with I don't know. I guess uh, you are three in the team, right? Son tres en el equipo. No, solo somos dos. Ah, only two? Sí. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the most important thing is that you understand the process. Que, que entienda el proceso que se sigue para hacer eso. Okay. Y poder evaluar un producto, ¿cierto? Okay. And don't worry, as at the moment that you understand something, just uh, that you don't understand, just tell me. I, and I can give you another explanation in order that you can get uh, the idea about what I'm talking about. It. Para de esa forma pueda obtener una idea más clara de lo que yo estoy hablando, ¿sí? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you Thank tomorrow. you. See you, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.